Hi guys, and welcome back to another video again with Powers. I'm Jake, and today, guys, I'm bringing you another solo variant playthrough uh, from 51st State Ultimate Edition by Portal Games. Uh, 51st State Ultimate Edition, guys, is a brand new addition uh, to 51st State, including all of the expansions, or it has all of the expansions, including the brand new No Man's Land expansion. And so, uh, this started fulfilled, I believe this fulfilled on GameFound. This was on GameFound, it fulfilled like late January, early February. I have a couple playthroughs on the channel already, guys, but I have some rules mistakes with those. So I want to take the opportunity to not only finish off showing off the rest of the content and expansions in this box, but clarify some rules um, as well. So in today's playthrough, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the Merchant's solo variant of the game, and I'll also be showing off the Scavengers expansion. So let's go ahead and jump down to the table, guys, where I got everything set up, ready to play. All right, guys, so I got everything set up here for for a solo playthrough of 51st State Ultimate Edition. Uh, before we dive into the actual game, guys, just wanted to clarify uh, some two rule mistakes that I was making in my previous playthroughs, right? Uh, both of these are gonna be associated with the virtual AI player. So even though the a virtual player, or vir even though it's a virtual AI, it is still considered an actual player. So in regards to raising and attacking his locations, right, I will need to be able to, I will have to pay the required cost for the card and what section they're in. And so what I mean by that, guys, is anytime this guy will get a card, right, so this is an action card, I will basically just need to put it in its um, row that it would normally go in if this was an actual player. So that way, when I want to raise this card, right, I will have to spend the required amount that it would take to normally raise that. So three, uh, three red contact tokens for production, four red contact tokens for a feature, and five red contact tokens for any action card of the virtual AI player, okay? In my previous playthrough, guys, I was go basing that off of the distance of the card instead of the actual defensive value, okay? The second thing is that uh, when the virtual AI player passes on his turn, I can no longer have any interaction with that player whatsoever. So I cannot raise any of his locations, do any of his open productions, have no interaction with him whatsoever, okay? So that was the other rule mistake that I made previously um, before I would let him pass and then I would raise all of his locations. So those are the two clarifications of the rules, guys, that I wanted to get out the way. So let's go ahead and dive in today's playthrough. So we're gonna be taking a look at the Merchants expansion, guys. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on your screen right here. I'm not gonna read this word for word, but I'm basically just gonna explain um, how the Merchants is gonna work. So they're gonna go ahead and take their turn like normal. They're gonna go ahead and attack you. And then whether they are successful or, um, whether they are successful or they hit their third um, attack attempt, they're now going to do like a merchant attack, okay? So the merchant attack is they're just going to draw three cards from the deck, and every time they draw a card, um, I will look at the blue deal icon of that card and see if I have a matching icon in my deals, and they're going to go ahead and destroy my deals, right? If they do not, then that is unsuccessful. After they do that the third time, um, the merchant will end up passing their turn, all right? So I hope that makes sense. You guys kind of see it, how that is. All right. Moving on to today's expansion. We have the Scavenger expansion today, guys. So there's a couple of new rule mechanics in regards to the Scavengers expansion. The first one is we've added a new connection pile, the yellow connection deck, okay? The second mechanic is each individual player will now have their own personal discard pile, okay? So instead of discarding cards to the general pool, I will have my own discard pile, the virtual player will have his own discard pile. In regards to the solo game, it says take about a third of the cards from the deck and that will be the uh, virtual player's starting discard pile, okay? The last thing is there's going to be a new symbol and a new icon on some cards. And so let me see if I can find one of these cards really quickly. Um, but what this is going to refer to is uh, this right here. So let me go ahead and put this trash collector's um, card up here so you guys can see it. So you'll see this new symbol right here. This symbol is going to reference, guys, a, a card from the top of the virtual player's discard pile or another player's discard pile. So when I produce that card, I will get to take the top card of the opponent's discard pile into my hand, okay? Again, um, if I ever play another card that, if I play a card that would allow me to interact with the uh, opponent's discard pile, but he has already passed, I cannot do that, that is not valid, all right? 
I hope all that makes sense. I was trying to rush through that stuff really quickly because um, I've done this playthrough a couple of times and uh, these these playthroughs with this deck can be kind of long, okay? So just trying to trying to get through that as quickly as possible, but I still hope that makes sense. Um, as always, guys, want to give you guys a, a clarification and a preference for these playthroughs. Um, I will be just be using the cards from the Scavenger deck exclusively until I need to get cards from the main deck, all right? Uh, it is not recommended to do that. Any playthrough of 51st State, guys, it is recommended you mix these, the uh, expansion cards with the actual main deck. But for the purpose of these playthrough, guys, um, I want to exclusively show off the contents of an expansion so you guys can see everything in it before I go to the main deck, all right? This will, of course, affect the outcome, whether I win or lose. And just a heads up. Alright, so let's go ahead and start. Three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and start and see what I get here, guys. Alright, so we got a leisure spot. Alright, so distance of two, a uh, feature. Each time you develop a ruins, gain one victory point. Alright, we got a max damage, distance of one. Spend one worker and discard one card to gain the top card from the player, another player's discard pile. Alright, we got a shady scrapyard, distance of two, production, one brick and one gun. I'm going to keep that. Uh, trash collectors produce, uh, I get one card from the top of the uh, opponent's discard pile. All right. We got another max damage. And then we have dogs of war. Distance of two, produce either two blue contact tokens or two red contact tokens. I will take that. All right. So what is I either max damage or leisure spot each time I develop a ruins? Um, I think I will take the leisure spot. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. So these two cards will go on my own personal discard pile, guys. So I will go ahead and do that. So those are my four starting cards, all right? Let's go ahead into the lookout phase where we got four cards coming out and let's see what we got here. So we got Scouring the Ruins, distance of two. Choose one icon on an opponent's card in the discard pile, spin the matching good to gain one victory point. Keeper of the Scrap Heat, I produce one bullet for each Ruins in my state. Garbage Digger, uh, open production, choose one icon on the top card of the opponent's discard pile, gain that matching good. And Demolition Mike, spend one worker and one uh, gun to raise one of my locations. I think I'm going to take the Garbage Digger here. As always, guys, with our playthroughs for any randomness, we have I have a dice. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and six, all right? So we have a six, so he's taking Demolition Mike. I'm gonna go ahead and take Keeper of the Scrap Heap, and then he will get Scouring the Ruins, and then he'll draw an extra card, which is the Trash Collectors uh, for production. All right, for today's playthrough, guys, um, I have the Merchant Board over here. I will be playing as the University. All right, well, hopefully the scientists will be able to outsmart the merchants. All right, so my production, I'm gonna go ahead and grab three workers. I get one contact, uh, one great contact token and two cards from the top of the deck, all right? We got a hidden clay pit, which is produce one worker and one brick with distance of two. And then I have a zone of death, a distance of two. I can action a spend one red contact token and discard one of another player's ruins to gain one victory point, all right? Those are my two cards. We are now ready to play the game, all right? I think the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to... Um, spend two workers and I'm going to grab this punks card. All right. So then he's going to either grab one of these connection cards. So one through three will be buildings. Four through six is merchants. So he will take the buildings card, which will give him two victory points. All right. And then we are now back to me. So I have one great contact token. Um, I think I'm going to play... Uh, garbage Digger, all right? So spend my great contact token and play Garbage Digger. So this is an open production card. I choose one icon on a, the top card of the opponent's discard pile and gain that matching good. So I'm going to choose that gear. So I will go ahead and gain a gear for me. So now it's going to go to him. He's going to take the Merchant's card, and he'll gain two victory points going up to four. All right, so back to me. All right, let's see. Well, I don't have anything I can do other than... Uh, trade in this gear for two gray contact tokens. All right, so got that. So now we're going to go to him. So now he's going to go ahead and try and attack me. For the purpose of attacking me, guys, I'm going to draw cards from the main deck uh, for him. 
So we're going to go ahead and draw that. And already right off the bat, uh, I am defeated. Okay, so I will gain the top card as compensation from the opponent's discard bot. All right. And then this will become ruins and he gains an additional two victory points. All right. That card will be discarded. So now it is back to me. Okay. So what did I want to do? Um, I think what I'm going to do is spend... I need some workers. So we're going to spend these two great contact tokens to do hidden clay pit. All right. Which is going to produce me a worker and a brick. All right. And then that's going to be that turn. So now he's going to go into his merchant attack phase, which is going to attack any of my deals. So I don't have any deals right now. So basically how this is going to work is I'm just going to take a card from the deck for three turns and then he will pass after that. Okay, so on to me. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend this punks to gain uh, two red contact tokens. All right. Uh, so now he's going to go again. Let's go ahead and draw. Uh, let's see here. So I want to raise one of my locations. Um, I can get the top three cards from the deck, which he does have a gear there which that is actually probably going to help me a lot. I have that two victory points. I have two great contact tokens, but I think I'm going to do this trash collectors. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and raise this trash collectors for two, which will give me the top three cards of the deck from the, the player. So I get the docks, I get a quarry, and I get a merc outpost. All right, so this is going to spend... One, any um, spend one of any resource to gain two workers. Uh, open quarry, open production of a brick, and docks, open production of a gear. All right. So that was that. All right. So then he's gonna do his third action, which is gonna be again. I have no deals. Um, so now we are coming back to me. So I've already done my action of that I could trade in these two guys to get a brick and maybe get a deal and hope that I get, um, hmm, let's see, Merc Outpost, uh, brick. I really don't need a brick. Uh, that'd be nice to have a universal contact token. Um, I think I might do that. The odds of me getting a deal with the universal contact token are pretty slim. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is trade in my two workers to grab a gas canister. So he's already attacked the third time, so he will now pass. All right. So now coming back to me, I'm going to trade in this gas canister to get two blue contact tokens. Trade in these two blue contact tokens, and I'm going to make a deal with the Dogs of War, grabbing me a... I'm going to put my discard pile up here, guys. I know that might be off camera, but... He, uh, I'm not going to need access to my discard pile because I can never take any cards from my own discard pile, okay? I'm going to put my deals over here to the side, all right? I also forgot to mention I have my resources over here to the side as well, just trying to save space uh, for the table. So that was that action. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pass, all right? We're going to go ahead and pass, and that is going to be it. So now we're going to go back up top to the lookout phase. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and grab uh, four cards from the top of the deck, and let's see what we got. All right, so no pain, no gain. Uh, distance of two, spend one red contact token to gain one ruins. Demolition Tommy, spend one worker and one gun to raise one of my location. Uh, New Village Rising, spend one worker and one brick to rebuild one of your ruins or a school. I got to take the school. Uh, university needs workers. All right, so let's go ahead and roll this dice. So we got a three which is going to be Demolition Tommy. I will take New Village Rising, and then he's taking No Pain, No Gain, as well as the top card, which is an Assault, all right? So we'll go now into production phase. So I get a Universal Contact Token. I get three workers, all right, three workers. I get a Great Contact Token. I get two cards from the deck. So I get a Sacrificial, sacrificial Pit. This is the two. Spend two workers and discard one of my ruins to draw one card from the deck and immediately construct it in my state for free. Or a dipulated factory, which is going to produce one gear and one brick. All right. I'm liking what I got so far. And then I also get another worker and a brick. All right. 
So let's see here. Um, I got a really good strategy that I'm going to do, I believe. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and spend two workers and grab this punks card. He's going to go ahead and grab one of these ruins. So five, well, he'll take the junk train, giving him two victory points. And then, um, we, um, you know, I might let him, I might let him have that. I might let him have that. All right. So let's see, I can get an open production of that. What was a brick and a gun? Um, these are the ones that I need to look at getting. It's been one worker. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is spend this great contact token and build a school, all right? So I'm getting two workers for that. All right. Um, then I'm gonna need to, okay, so then he will take the ruins, gaining him another two victory points, bringing him to 10, all right? So now for me, I'm going to use my universal contact token as a gray to go ahead and produce a dox, which will grab me a gear. All right. So then it's going to go to him. So he's going to look to attack me. So the I'm going to go ahead and give this deck a shuffle before we do this because I did not give my deck a shuffle. The, the main deck cards prior to doing that, I just drew a top card and I got screwed. All right. So we have a brick. So the hidden clay pit is going to be gone. So my compensation is a uh, is a worker, and so that's going to become ruins. And then he's gaining two victory points up to twelve. All right. So we are now going back to me. So what I'm going to do is spend this gear to grab two gray contact tokens. So he's going to go into his deal phase. So we have a gear, which I don't have anything in the gear. So coming back to me, I'm going to spend one of these contact tokens to play Huge Machinery. All right. We're going to go to him, which is going to be a deal, and we have a Gas Canister. All right. My last one is going to be... Um, hmm. So I have one contact token. I can use that to gain one, one, anything else of a one. I don't have anything one. Uh, what I think I'll do is I get, uh, I don't really need bricks yet, um, to rebuild one of my ruins. Didn't I have one that like allowed me to rebuild? Every time I develop a ruins, I gain one victory point. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to build this Mercs outpost. So do that for one and build the Mercs outpost. All right. So he's going to go for the third time and he gets a brick. So I don't have any bricks, so the next turn he will pass, all right? So coming back to me, I got all these workers here, all right? And I got a brick. Um, I've already done my, oh, technically it says you gotta do the action there. So I've already done the gear there to get the two, so that's done. So there's no way I can get, well, I could get two. Um, do I want to try and risk it for, um, I think I will. Okay, I need, so I'm gonna trade in these two workers to grab a gas canister, trade that in for two blue contact tokens, use those two blue contact tokens to make a deal with the zone of death, grabbing me a red contact token. All right, so then the last thing I can do is uh, spend one brick to gain two workers. All right. Um, use two of these workers to grab a... Well, do I, I just need a one contact token. Uh, I'm going to use two of those workers to grab a card from the top of the deck. So another school. All right. Um, that's good. That's good. I'm going to use this punks card, grabbing me two red contact tokens. All right, and let's see what I can raise that'll give me a victory point. Yep, so I'm going to raise this Keepers of the Scrap Heap uh, for two guys, giving me two victory points and a bullet. All right, two victory points and a bullet, which counts as any resource. All right, 
Um, and then I'm gonna trade in two of these guys to grab me a gun, use this as a gun. So trading in these two, which will give me a universal uh, contact token, all right? Use that universal contact token to uh, play that school right there, which will give me two more workers. And then use these two workers to grab another card from the top of the deck, which is no pain, no gain. All right, that is all I'm doing on my turn. So I got everything set up that I would like to have set up. It was a pretty long turn right there. And we're now gonna go into the next phase. So my goal is here to try and limit the amount of uh, victory points. Oh, all right, let's see what we got here. So uh, we have Keeper of the Scrap Heap, uh, produce one bullet for each ruins in your state. Nuclear Preacher, Produce one victory point for each ruins in your state. Scavengers, spend one worker and one brick to gain the top card of the deck. And Demolition Site is produce one ruins. I'm definitely taking this Nuclear Preacher. Let's go ahead and do that. So two, so that's one, two. He's taking the Scrap Heap. I'm gonna take this Demolition Site and then he gets the Scavengers with another card, which is New Village Rising. All right, so... Uh, now let's go to production phase. So I get universal contact token. I get a red token. I get three workers. All right, three workers, great contact token. I get two cards from the top of the deck, which is another school and scouring the ruins. All right, which is choose an icon on the top card, spin the matching good to gain one victory point. All right, uh, then I also get another worker, a gear and another worker. So two more workers and a gear, all right? So that is everything. So now we're going back up to me. So I'm gonna spend two workers, grab this punks card, or grab the punks card into my hand. All right, he's gonna gain one of these other cards. So that's a five. So he'll take the merchants. And then, uh, we I'm gonna spend, um, so he gets two victory points, going up to 14. Ah, uh, man, I don't, um, yeah, I'm going to spend these two workers and grab this Ruins card, and then he's going to go to attack. All right, so he's going to go to attack, so a gear and a bullet, all right? So I both have a gear and a bullet. Both of these are unspent, so it goes to, I always got to forget, the, I always got to grab the tie rules. All right, so, um... Car with a greater distance, so they're both equal than unused actions. They're both unused. They're both uh, both unused. Okay, I don't have any use. So then I go to features. Then I go to productions. So I got three that are tied with productions, and then the order on the deals is card worker. Well, actually, it'd be a school in general, so it doesn't matter. So technically, that's what it is. Um, all right. So the school is going to be destroyed. I get a worker as compensation. All right. And then now it is back to me. All right, uh, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna spend one worker and one gear to gain three gray contact tokens. So that's one, two, and three. All right, so three gray contact tokens. So now he's gonna go ahead and attack my deals. So we have a huge machinery, which is a... Uh, gear which is not anything that i need to be scared of all right i'm gonna go ahead and do this uh ruins which is gain the top card of the opponent's deck which is a dox all right so now he's gonna attack one of my deals again and we have a gun which i don't have a gun and then uh let's see what i'm gonna do so then what i'm gonna do is spend one of these great contact tokens and play my nuclear preacher. All right. So I'll produce one victory point for each ruins in my state. So I got three. So I'm getting three victory points bringing me up to five. All right. And then the last one for him is going to be attacking and it's a bullet. So I don't have a bullet. So he'll go ahead and pass on the next turn. All right. I'm going to move him over just to clear a little space here. All right. So now we're back to me, and I got a lot of options that I need to do. So I need to start finding ways uh, to get some victory points here. Um, so I need to, what is that? That's producer ruins, choose one icon on a card, spend the matching good to gain a victory point. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the punks and grab two 
red contact token, so he will now pass, so I can't interact with him at all, okay? Um, so let's see here. Uh, I can rebuild ruins, which I'm going to want to do. I'm going to want to get this school out, so I think what I'm going to do is spend one great contact token to produce the school. I'm just going to put them like that uh, for space purposes, and I grab uh, two new workers. All right. Um, I think what else I'm going to do is, uh, man, this docks is looking nice. Um, I need to find a way to start getting victory points. So actually I'm going to do this. So I'm going to raise this location right here, spend two red, raise that, get two, uh, victory points. So that's seven and I get a bullet. All right. Which counts as a wild resource. All right. I'm going to use that wild resource to gain two more workers for me. All right. And uh, a lot of options I got here, guys. I'm just trying to mow through this um, as quickly as possible. So I need to... Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and spend... Oh, I need this to rebuild. Every time I develop a ruins, I could use this to gain a ruins. All right. So I think that's what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spend one great contact token and play this demolition site. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is stack all my ruins over here, guys, just so I have space. All right. You're not technically supposed to do that, but that's what I'm going to do. So I can develop one ruins. In order to do that, I just take one card from the top of the card from the main deck and put it face down in a discard pile. Okay. So it's still back to me. So what do I have? I have universal. Is there any other stuff where I can get victory points other than this sacrificial pit, which is two? Uh, I do kind of want something. I can rebuild my ruins. That's the one that lets me develop a ruins. I gain a victory point, but I kind of want to have ruins right now. Uh, I'm, I'm really tied for a loop here. I think I'm just going to spend one gray and grab a gear. All right, so go ahead and grab me a gear. I'm gonna trade in this gear to gain two gray contact tokens. All right, just need to start getting some buildings out here um, so that I can do that. Um, Dipulative factory. I think I'll build this leisure spot. So for two uh, gray contact tokens, I'm going to build this leisure spot, all right? So every time I develop a ruins, I gain one. Uh, I'm going to make a deck here. All right, so every time I make, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm running out of space here, guys. I think I'm going to have my ruins. I think I'm going to put my ruins right over here. So uh, that way you guys can see. I uh, hope you guys can see that. You should be able to. So that way I can have a little more space, all right, as I'm building out my entire... Uh, factory over there. All right. So what do I got left? I got a crap ton of workers. Um, I think what I'm going to do is spend these two workers to grab a gun. All right. Spend another two workers to grab another gun. Uh, spend these two guns to gain one universal contact token and a... Um, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm going to spend those two workers to grab a gas canister and then take these two workers back. Sorry, I'm moving ahead, I'm moving ahead. Uh, so I would just spend two of those workers to gain a gas canister. I'm gonna trade this gas canister in for two blue contact tokens, trade these two blue contact tokens in, and I'm gonna make a deal with it, no pain, no gain, and I'm going to get another red contact token. All right, so got everything lined up right there. All right, so. We got a red contact token. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Do, do, do. Uh, I think I'm going to spend these two workers and draw a card, which is a Morgan's factory production of one brick and one gun. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and, well, I cannot. Uh, do I have anything with one? I don't really want to. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and spend this universal contact token as a red and then spend my other red in order to uh, raise this location, giving me a victory point, a worker, and a card, all right? Victory point, worker, and a card, 
which is going to be Red Anya. So spend one worker and take one of another player's ruins. Place that in your state. All right. Uh, I'm going to trade in these two workers and I'm going to grab myself another card. Warehouse Settlement. Produce one worker for each ruins in your state. All right. Uh, so I'm all out of options. All right. So we're going to go ahead and clear this out. All right. Uh, boom, 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 and put the thing back. All right, we're going to go back up top to the lookout phase, and we're going to go one, two, three, and four. All right, so this says spend one worker and one gun and discard one of your ruins to gain three victory points. Building bonus, gain one victory points for each ruin in your state. Each time you develop a ruins, gain one worker and produce one red contact token for each ruins in your state. Man, those are really good ones. I'm going to take this TNT first. All right, hopefully he doesn't get this labor company. So that's one, two, three, four. So he's taking the reconstruction team. I'll take the labor. He'll take the mutants den. And then he gets the top card from the deck, which is a nuclear preacher. That's what I wanted. Another nuclear preacher. All right. So on to me, guys. I'm getting uh, two red contact tokens here. Uh, I get a universal contact token. I get three workers. One, two, three. I get a gray contact token. Uh, I get two cards from the deck. So a demolition site for ruins and another TNT. All right. Hey, I'm loving this. I'm loving this right now. Uh, I also get a gear. All right. I get a gear. I get two more workers from both my schools. I get one victory point for each uh, ruins in my city up to a max of three. So that's going to be one, two, and three. All right. I produce one ruins. So from the top of the deck. And then I get an open production of another gear. All right. So uh, that is all my production. So now we're coming up top to me. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and spend two of my workers. And I'm going to take this uh, Punk's card. All right. He's going to go ahead and take one of these other cards. So that's a one. So he'll take the buildings and get himself two victory points. I'm going to spend... Uh, you know what? I'm confident. I'm going to let him have that. I'm going to let him have that. You can have that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, um, I need to build this quickly. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spend one great contact token and play my labor colony. So one victory point for each ruins in my state. I have five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five, making me even with him. All right, and then he'll take this other merchant's card, getting him another two victory points. All right, so now we're coming back to me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and spend one worker and one gear to gain three uh, great contact tokens. All right, he's going to go ahead and attack. So we have a star and a gas canister. So no star gas canister. I got a star right there on the feature. So he's going to go ahead and blow that up, grabbing me a card. So that'll take another ruins for me, but I get a card as compensation, which is another labor colony. Gain one victory point for each ruins in my state up to a max of five. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Why not? Let's go ahead and end the game this turn, guys. So uh, I'm going to spend one great contact token to play another labor colony, getting me five victory points. One, two, three, four, and five. And there it says a max of five. So I can only get a max of five on each of my turns. All right. So now he's going to go ahead and attack my deals. Uh, so we have a, uh, so this would go in the discard pile. That would be face up like that. So I don't have a worker in my deals. All right. The next thing I want to get out on the board, guys, is this TNT. So I'm going to spend two gray contact tokens bringing this TNT out into the board. All right. So he's going to go in again and attack another one of my deals, which is a gear. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, man, I actually need to do something first. So I am going to spend these two, spend one of these uh, red contact tokens and raise this warehouse settlement, getting me two workers. All right. So getting me two workers. All right. So now he's going to go for the last time which is going to be a brick, and I don't have a brick. All right, so these cards are going to his discard pile. All right, time to blow this game wide open, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is spend, uh, well, wait a sec. I need to get some gears. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do uh, first. So I need to spend this gear to gain two 
red or two gray contact tokens. All right. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is, uh, that's some guns. I'm going to take these punks right here and give me another two red contact tokens. So boom and boom. So I got three red contact tokens. All right. So I'm going to spend these two red contact tokens to raise red Anja, giving me two guns and a card from the top of the pile. So I get the Pony Express. This is a two. Spend one worker to place one resource on each of three of my ruins. Gain the resource on that ruins when I develop it. All right. Uh, that's not really what I'm looking for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this TNT. So spend one worker and one gun and discard one of my ruins. All right. And that's going to give me three victory points. So that's one, two, and three. All right. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and spend uh, two victory or two gray contact tokens. And I'm going to build another TNT shelter. All right. He's passed. So I'm going to go ahead and spend another worker and another gun to gain and discard one of my other another ruins to gain three victory points. So that's one, two, and three. All right. Uh, what do I have left? So I got a red contact token and a universal contact token. Uh, so I think I'm going to spend this universal contact token to build the quarry as a production site which is going to get me a brick all right and then um i think that's really that's really all i can do no matter what because well let me go ahead and trade in these two workers to gain a card and see what this last card is warehouse settlement so i could raise that and get my two workers back and I don't think there's anything else I can do, though, because I'm just, like, going back and forth. Um, yeah, so I think that's it, guys. All right, well, look, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. That is going to be the end of the game since I've hit the threshold. So now I will go ahead and count up all my locations. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, so I am at 40 on mine. All right, so that's where I'm sitting at. And then he is sitting at, let's count all these cards for the virtual player. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, so he's sitting at 30. All right, so I am victorious, beating this the Merchants Clan uh, 40 to 30. All right, guys, well look, that is a solo playthrough of 51st State um, Ultimate Edition with the Merchants variant and using the Scavenger cards exclusively. Okay, guys, so let me go ahead and talk to you about my first impressions of this Scavengers expansion and the Merchants uh the Merchants variant. All right, so start off with the Merchants variant. Um, I think it's kind of cool. It's another unique variant, right? It's adding, like, he's technically going to attack you six times. But um, I do kind of see a flaw in this variant where you can kind of, like, you don't even have to build any deals. And basically, you're going to neutralize the Merchants and what they want to do. Or if you build deals knowing that there's not many cards that have those certain deals. So like I did with that Universal Contact token, there's not too many cards in the main deck that use a universal contact token for a deal. You can kind of manipulate and placate the Merchants variant a little bit. All right, going into the Scavengers expansion. Look, I'm really enjoying some of these expansions with 51st State, guys, because it just gives you different ways to play the game. And looking at the Scavengers expansion, uh, it's more placated on your ruins, being able to score victory points. And if you have a lot of ruins in your in your area man you can really load up on victory points like you saw that last turn i got 10 victory points from two cards because of the total amount of ruins and then having that card that produces a ruin for me um that is just fantastic so really a great way um another way to play the game and you focus on ruins and having one in your cards uh to be destroyed so Hey, Ren, I'm enjoying that Scavengers expansion. But all right, guys, look, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Try to make it as quick as possible. I got lucky, got big points on the final round. Uh, hopefully, we can keep this video under 40 or 45 minutes. Um, as always, guys, hit that like, help us out, hit that notification button if you haven't already, and please subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you more awesome content. All right, guys, y'all have a great one. Bye.